I mean, you've experienced various things within your own career as well, Lisa, haven't you? Yeah, absolutely. I've just, just come back from America, as you know, and, like, you can't go on any channel on, in America. It's everywhere, mm. and there's more and more people coming out, and that's brilliant because, you know, the women aren't scared anymore, and this new hashtag, Me Too, obviously you can see everyone responding to it, but for me personally, um, yeah, it's, it's gone on for years and years, mm. and um, it's not that people have turned a blind eye, it's just there and it happened continuously for me personally um in my early 20s i mean linda will understand this in the, the budget's been slashed now but you know we used to go and make films tv shows where all the cast and all the crew would all live together in under hotel, one roof yeah. in a hotel <laughs> you'd be away from your family and your partner at the time um at this period for me personally i was single and we were filming, you'd be there for two, two and a half, three months possibly. And we're about a month and a half into the shoot and we were in the bar after work, you know, everyone loving a glass of wine, banter. This man in very high position within the film that I was working on, um, as I went to the bathroom, I came back, looked at my cigarette box, because you could smoke inside then, and there was a number on, a three-digit number. And I turned to my friend and I said, what's that? And he said, it's his room number. I was like, but he's married with three beautiful children that I know about. And she went, it's the norm. Everyone does it. I said, well, this girl doesn't, mm. you know, because if one thing is... Yeah, it's true. Because I do believe the girl in question wanted to blow her own career up, um, you know, and I want to get a career from talent. Capable yeah. of doing that for... And people knew, yeah, pe people knew that he'd done it before and that they, that they got jobs because of it, you know? Mm -hmm. So, I mean... So, I mean, is it that, um, listening to these stories in America, and just like that, it's not just about the this fear factor, there was fear so you couldn't speak out, it's not just fear, it's actually because it was so common. So it common. Was so commonplace that it was almost that was what stopped anyone from speaking out because everyone was sort but of involved. But it wasn't just in, uh, it's not just in the film industry, it's in what offices, people watching this program will have experienced it in the workplace, in the canteen, the annual office party. I mean, the yeah. things that used to go on in this building, I can't <laughs> begin to tell you, in the underground car park, for example. But it wasn't always... Um, men hitting on women. There was another whole thing when I first started in television of, of you'd get young boys who'd just left school who were suddenly being rapidly promoted up through various jobs. Half because, been catch, it used to be. Yes, yes. for little boys, uh, not little boys, but teenage boys too. And there was a lot of that going on in the music industry and in television and movies. So it wasn't just women, but my experience was quite bizarre because, you know, by the time I came to work in television, I'd had a very, you know, a, quite a career in radio and television that went back quite a few years. But uh, someone asked me, you know, who was a top executive, asked me to dinner to correct, to discuss my career. Of course, I thought, well, we're going to dinner to discuss my career. It's a bit weird. Why can't we do it at lunchtime? But whatever. <laughs> and I asked two friends that I was working with to wait for me in the pub around the corner because I went, I bet this dinner's going to go down a certain direction. Yeah. And, you know, we had the pre-dinner drinks, the drinks, and then he wanted the more drinks. And suddenly, and, and then we were discussing, you know, it went slightly off the work agenda, and I just went, got to go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ran round the corner yeah. and saw my mates in the pub, and they were saying, how, how did it take you so long? Mm. But you're absolutely mesmerised, and people do tell you that they've got your career in their hands. But you yeah. You're very strong women. I'm guessing there's a lot of women in that position in much more vulnerable positions who kind of think... Yeah, but I'm... you are really ambitious. That's the thing. <laughs> I was really ambitious. So you do have to weigh up, what would I do to get on? Well, you Is... wouldn't do that, would you? No, no, no I like. didn't. But, yeah. the first, uh, you know, I've got to be really careful legally, but there was a person that said to my husband, asked for me to um, do stuff with him and offer to oh really my help God. my career. You know, would my husband lend me to this oh bloke? Oh, my God. So I mean, without naming any names, I can sit here with you, and we spoke this morning, I would never mention who, but I know for a fact, you know, that there are girls, 
my age, a little bit younger, a little bit older, who did use their sexuality and did go there to gain in their career. Mm -hmm. You know, now again, it's how they've got to sleep at night. You know, yeah. if their conscience can lay there and, and be okay, then that's 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 their prerogative. But for me personally, I don't think I could remotely yeah. sleep at night knowing that you didn't get there with your own strengths. Mm -hmm. you know? I, I did this three-part drama once and um, I had a bed scene with quite a well-known person here. And I, it says in the script that I had my nightdress on. So we were doing the scene and then all of a sudden the director bellowed across the room, uh, Lindsay, would you mind taking your nightdress off? So everyone's like looking at me. I went, the crew, something off. <laughs> I won't say the word I said, but why don't you, <laughs> something <laughs> off. <laughs> it was just like the most embarrassing, humiliating thing. But uh, if that had been another girl, she might have done that. Yeah, you know, and all the crew were blokes. Yeah. Because when I first worked here, there were no women on the floor, on the studio floor, it was all blokes, so that was intimidating, number one. Yeah, yeah. The Honestly. only woman might have been with uh, the PA with the clipboard. That might be the only one on the whole set. Anyway, obviously I didn't take my nightdress off. <laughs> <laughs> and I never worked with him again. <laughs>